Hi church, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well today. My name is Helen Kendall and I am based at the Central Manchester campus. And uh, yeah, I'm joining you on this relationships themed devotional. So um, thinking about relationships, it got me remembering at a time when I went to college in America. So I went from Newcastle to Pasadena, California, um, and I was 19 and I was on this college course studying mime, physical theater, Bible college, and it was people from all over the world. So there was Germans and Puerto Ricans and Brazilians and British people. And um, it was pretty intense. We lived in the same dorms. We went to class together. We went to church together. We were creating pieces of performance. We were taking dance class. We were debating theology, um, eating dinner together. And obviously back in the day when there was no mobile phones, barely in any internet. So you were like with the people you were with and you had to make it work. And obviously in that scenario, there were some relationships which were a little bit grating, to be honest. Um, and yeah, just thinking back to like, they got to this point where some people just were like, you know, I was getting like churned up, like stressing about some people. Um, and I just came to this point where I thought, hang on a minute, um, you know, there's two things I need to be thinking about. One is that me feeling this way and being stressed by this relationship is having no effect on the other person. They're probably not even aware of it. And secondly was that it was actually my responsibility to do something and to change rather than it was their responsibility to change. Um, and I think we can often fall victim to thinking, oh, everybody else, everybody else is wrong, I'm right, and everyone should change. But actually, you know, oftentimes it's us, isn't it? And it says in Hebrews, Hebrews 12, 14, it says, make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. So obviously that word effort, it's not like an easy word, is it? The implications is that it's hard work that you have to commit, you have to put some energy into it. It's not something that happens naturally. But also look at what the Bible's saying about um, the kind of implications. It's saying without that peace and holiness, no one will see God. And what a challenge that is, that it's not, like it's important that we make that effort. It's important that we get those relationships, um, get them right, and we make that effort in our lives. So during this time when I was at college, um, one of my friends really challenged me um, about some of these people. And she said, look, what you need to do is you need to pray for those people. Oh, and you're like, this is the last thing I wanna do. And she said, not even that, you have to thank God for this person. You have to thank God specifically for this person um, and think about ways that, you know, you can thank God for them. So that was like obviously a real challenge, um, but I committed to do it. I really tried to do it to start with. It was so difficult, um, but I found that as I kept doing that, as I kept coming to God and praying for these people and thanking God for them, then, you know, my heart towards them changed um, and my relationship with them changed and ultimately I was in a much better place. I was at peace with it and um, it was a much better experience. So I think that is just a challenge for us today. Obviously God puts all kinds of relationships in our lives, relationship at work, at home, your family, your church friends, all kinds of people at school. Um, but let's take responsibility ourselves and let's be active and make an effort. And obviously next time someone says they're gonna pray for you, try not to take it um, offensively. Uh, but yeah, have a great day, church. I hope you are enjoying this series and um, God bless you today.